Hey everyone, Shauna Sajay here. I'm here because Home Tester Club is a blessing. They sent me a Con Air blow dryer. Ooh so we're going to style up my hair today. We got, I'm going for a wash and go look and we're going to use the dryer they sent me. So they sent me a Con Air Infinity Pro blow dryer. So we're going to get all into the details in just a sec but let me just reminisce on my first blow dryer okay i my first blow dryer was a con air infinity pro blow dryer me and my best friend we got matching blow dryers okay fast forward to even today i still use the infinity pro con air blow dryer my favorite blow dryer to use is their hair styler and I'm on my second one because I dropped the other one 10,000 times and just went out on me but um, I just had to go buy another one because of the results so they have a new blow dryer they have a new blow dryer y'all that's so modern and full of great advanced technology have a look <laughs> so this is I, I I couldn't wait to open the box, but um this is what we're gonna be looking at here. Look at this. Look at this, look at this, y'all. Get into this. So we have a nice blow dryer here with two attachments. They promise accelerated drying, next generation technology, precision engineering, and it's gonna be up to 30% lighter. So, um, oh, flashback to my, my old, my old school blow dryer that, um, I still use, you know, but who knows, I might switch over, but I really love this hair styler infinity pro blow dryer, um, by Conair. I use it so much when I want to like blow dry straight look, you know, before I start flat iron ironing, I use this and I love it. My second one. And when it all else fails, um, depending on how this one is, I might get another one. But um, I do really like this comb feature, so I'll probably keep it. But let's have a look at this blow dryer. Dun, dun, dun. All right, y'all. When I first took out the box, I was like, oh my gosh, it is so light. Okay, I can hold this all day. It is so light. All right, um, let's look into this features here. So, I don't know how good you can see, bah, bah, bah. but we have um, two buttons here. Um, one, and it has three settings um, to turn up the heat. And then we got three buttons here to um, speed up the fan here. And um, we have a cool blast button here. Um, the on and off button is back here, okay? And we're going to get into it. Um, oh, the two attachments here was going to have a diffuser. We're going to use this today. I don't, I don't use diffusers much, but I'm going to do a wash and go look. And we're going to use the diffuser today. And we have this, this uh, attachment here. So it also includes a little brush for cleaning. So we have that. Now, for my hair. I'm going to take this off, I'm gonna section my hair, and I'm gonna twist it all over. I'm gonna use a little bit of um, curling cream or curling pudding or whatever you wanna call it, and I'm just gonna use that in my hair as I'm, as I'm twisting um, my hair. So give me one second, I'll twist it all up, and then we'll get to diffusing, all right? I'm back. I twisted my hair um, all over using the curling pudding, custard, curling cream, or whatever you want to call it, you know, and that's going to help reduce the frizz, um, add some, you know, definition and shine and, you know, like nice softness to my hair. And we're going to um, diffuse it. And I'm going to use the high setting and the heat on medium and see how it does. Here we go. Alright, 
so my hair is mostly dry I got a good 85% um, so one thing I'm worried about I can tell you but it's not the dryer it's more of my hair um, I use so much heat on the front of my hair it's kind of like um, straight in areas where I want it to be a little curly so I'm gonna have to try to modify that in a way when I finish and untwist my hair but um Okay, so my hair feels like it's 100% dry now. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and untwist my hair and then we'll style. Okay, so I took the twists out and just evaluating. I feel like, you know, like I said, I put so much heat in my hair that the front part of my hair is often sh shows us like straighter than the back so um i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do like some style in the front and then it's nice and curly in the back and look look i don't see like no frizz look at that that looks good that curl pattern is just popping so I'm just gonna style it a little bit in the front, like put it up or something. What do you think? What do you think? This is what it looks like now. I could take a comb and look at that. Do y'all see this? And it's not wet. It's dry. It did and. That was less drying time. That didn't, that didn't take no time. That was a good 20 minutes. And that's because my hair is very like, it absorbs the moisture. Like even when untwisting some of my hair, I could feel a little bit of moisture hidden within the twist that it didn't capture. So just a good five minutes more and um, I probably would have been fine, but I, I did untwist it a little early. But other than that, less frizz, more definition. Since I decided to have um, part of my hair up in the front and then out in the back, I am going to use the other attachments, okay? Just to give it a little volume in the back. Um, going to change out my diffuser with this blow dryer attachment here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to um, put my comb back near my, uh, towards my scalp area and then blow dry here and left. Just do that on all the sides. Comb here, blow dry here and left. That's what I'm gonna do. Get a little volume, there we go. Feel like I need some in here. Not done yet. Being careful not to mess up um, my curl pattern. Then I'm going to add a little hair oil to my hair. My hands and just puff it up a little bit. Wow. And there you have it, y'all. And there you have it. Hey everyone, I just wanted to provide a quick final review 
of the Digital Air Conair Infinity Pro Bro Blow Dryer. Woo! Say that 10 times. <laughs> but um, I can tell you that one thing that I really enjoyed with this blow dryer is that it gets super hot. Okay, most blow dryers I have to use the high setting all the time, um, but this one, um, I most of the time it was on medium, and I only used the high setting, you know, when I needed that extra blast of heat. But uh, medium would it, it suffice. So, you know, the heat is great. It's like professional grade heat you're getting. Um, Another thing with this blow dryer is that it is not loud. It's not super loud. And um, that was a big positive with my my um, overall review because most blow dryers that I have was super loud. And I, in the morning when I'm getting ready for work and my husband is still sleeping, it's a big bother. So um, this one was a little light, a little, you know, less loud. Another thing that I enjoyed with this blow dryer is the super long cord. You didn't notice, but during my review, uh, when I was doing the styling um, earlier in the video, I my my outlet was actually across <laughs> on a, a different wall, and I was like, man, I gotta use the blow dryer. I I need to use the blow dryer in front of my camera over here, which is by my mirror. And it's going to be a problem, but actually it wasn't because the cord was super long that it worked just fine, um, which is also a bonus in, in my bathroom. So the cord is super long. I enjoyed that. Another thing that um, I really liked about this blow dryer is the anti-frizz. So when using the um, diffuser, um, I noticed that after, you know, I, I did use some product, but, you know, but when I used the diffuser, it didn't create so much frizz in my hair as it's blow drying. It maintained that definition of my uh, curl pattern, which I really enjoyed. So overall, I recommend this blow dryer to anyone. Um, I would purchase this blow dryer myself if it wasn't given to me by Home Tester Club, which they gave it to me for free. Um, I do want to note for my review, but um, this is my honest review and I really, I really enjoy this blow dryer and I recommend it to anyone and I definitely th believe that it's worth the price. So go get that blow dryer and thank you Conair.